Hey guys, I am the Drunken Meditator, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim. So, today, we're finally getting married to Serana. We even have matching crowns. Although, for some reason, she wouldn't take off the hood. And Reynold over here, even though you can't see it, is wearing fine clothes. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next, in prosperity, in poverty, and in joy and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? Yes. Do you agree to be bound That is one issue. She doesn't have the actual, uh, I do now and forever things. Uh, about that, I'm gonna give her a different ring. Living with you would be perfect. Don't take too long, Ralph. Wait. Do you need something? Uh, where is it? Uh. Ah, yeah, she's still here with me. Uh, let's trade. And give her the ring I enchanted myself. And it's a left-handed ring. Okay, now let's uh, get going back home. And I will pick back up... Daphne, I have no, who, I have no clue who you are. Uh, then there's Maramel. Delphine. I don't know who you people are. I know Reynold and I know Serana for obvious reasons. Reynolds like our like our kid. Speaking of which, we have an improvement at the uh, safe house that I need to show you guys once we get there. But I'll be back after we get there and change clothes. If I can select the safe house, well the guild house that is. Get a fast travel to the guild house before we can go to the safe house for some reason. Come on now. There we go. It's This is not well actually now that I'm wearing the new ring, this is a great time for you to show up. Actually, you know what? No. We'll go for that later. Come on down. Where are you gonna land? Thank you. Now give me your soul. Man, you have awesome. You were designed awesomely. Mmm, delicious. What you thought I absorbed the souls? No, I eat them. Let's head on in here and get changed up. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. And we're back. So I decided to go with a different take on our outfits instead of what I was originally planning going for heroes in white and all holy and junk well kind of went with the opposite went evil and look at Serana's outfit ruby splinter armor or ruby glass splinter armor I think it's amazing Latoria, did you discover anything interesting? Latoria deciphered a new spell code from some of the ruined books you brought. Nice. Latoria made an extra copy for you as well. Nice. What steadfast ward? I'm never bringing you another book. 
Uh, Orion, I can't talk to you. Ariana, what have you got for sale? Oh yeah, I forgot who she was. Uh, I don't know if I need that. I'm looking for stuff to go in the museum again, as usual. Hmm. Don't see anything else interesting. Moonlit woods, yes. I like that idea. Calling a spectral... I've already got that uh, thing. But uh, calling a spectral wolf, wolf to you? That sounds amazing. So. Let's come over here and talk to Patero. What's happening around here? Oh, come on, that's racist. In all seriousness, it does have everyone a little on edge, and most don't want to go back in until you figure out <sighs> Always gotta be me, don't it? <sighs> I'll get right on it. Thank you, as always, Guildmaster. I'll have everyone ready for your return. Okay. Also, another thing I want to do, I want to show you guys what uh, Reynolds is wearing now. Uh, they don't all match, but these are some of the... These are the strongest armors I had ready for him, and I improved them. So now he has Cold Harbor Elite Daedric Gauntlets with over a million armor rating, uh, Dragon Slayer Bone Boots with uh, even more armor, actually, uh, Hedge Knight Armor with almost 3 million armor, and Sugarloaf Helmet with almost a million and a half. So he's not going to be dying anytime soon. The three of us have become immortal amigos. Well, Sarana and I are a little more than amigos. But let's head in here and go kill some stuff as usual. Let me get my... Actually, I think I've already got the... Yeah. I have a new crossbow as well. A Daedric Guarded crossbow. It literally has a shield on it. Yeah. There. I love the design. Let's open this door. Yeah, this way. So, if we come over here, there's nothing. This isn't where they were. Where were they? I guess they were way back here. Oh, yeah, because we came up here afterwards. Fair warning. There was apparently something about screaming in here. Yeah, that didn't last long. I am also carrying a new uh, knife. A chakram. It's the circular thingy with blades. And a skull double axe. Which, let's get a look at that on her on my back. Or better yet, go just go in here because it's still hard to see. Yeah, I love it. It It's one of my favorite axes that you can get. And we're carrying around the Sword of Ancient Tongues, but won't probably won't use it much. And then, of course, we have Anthrax and Napalm. My two lovely hammers. I named them that because this one does fire damage. This one does poison damage. Let's get our crossbow back out and sneak. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything left in here. It's this... Uh, oh, there are... Well then... No, we're going to go with the axe. Come on. Come on. Come on back. Okay. That takes them down. So if we go... Oh, one more. Okay. Now, if we go through here... We still aren't at the right place. What? 
Where are we supposed to go? This is confusing. Okay, maybe if we go back up here. Up here. So this is the um place that we sort of discovered. Or this is the place we discovered. Okay, I think we're on the right track now. Because that was a scream. Oh no, that was probably one of these guys. That takes you three down. Is it this way? I don't remember going down this way. So maybe it is this way. No. Oh, it's this way. In fact, this calls for... I got him backwards. This calls for anthrax and napalm. Really? It's just trolls? That was the screaming? Oh, there's the last icy shard. To go along with our meal. It was keeping them cold for me. That's what it was. Okay. And the last troll. Let's save after that. <laughs> Never know when this thing is going to crash. Okay. I heard the save noise and it didn't quite save. Or it didn't exit the thing. Let me set up for a second. Yeah. I keep sort of sliding further down in my chair, as usual. So something was detecting me. Is that a raccoon? Oh my god, I think that's a raccoon. We may have seen our first raccoon in Skyrim. What? What? Am I not supposed to kill the raccoon? Oh! The terrible beast is a raccoon. Its hand appears to be caught stuck in between the rocks. After freeing him, I found the Windcaller relics stashed, in, stashed inside the rocks. Now I continu can continue exploring the passage. Aww. I'm sorry for hitting the raccoon. I thought it was gonna attack me like everything in this game does of course it also scared the pants off of uh oh Latoria so I had reason to be worried still I'm still a little upset with Marasi for calling her a frady cat. I mean, they are literal cats. That has got to be a racist slur. <sighs> Come on. Ah, there we go. Marasi, or Latoria? Ah, don't worry about the beast. I'll deal with it. Oh. See, I was expecting some kind of banshee. I have no doubts that you will, but you may want to reassure the others. Some are pretty rapid. Uh, I found all six shards. Phenomenal, my friend. Well, if I recall, there was a passage in a little-known follow-up to the Song of Thrawhir that reads, When staff of ice be broken to one and five, only be wrought again by forge of ice. Meaning the ice forge up there. Through the eye of stone, face north, south, true. Paste five and one, then staff show through. If you find some sort of stone <laughs> in the circle that you can place the shards in, it sounds like Good, let me turn. Be forged. So, so I do ha apparently have to kill the raccoon. Man, why are you gonna make me kill the raccoon? 
Thank you. I have an ice staff now. Well, back to kill the raccoon. I'm sorry. It it actually really does look really adorable. And they're gonna make me kill it. I'm gonna hurry and wait, no, not that way. Oh, apparently that closed. But uh I'm gonna hurry and try and make it as painless or as quick as possible. I can dig at the excavation site again at least. So we go this way. We turn here. Wait a minute. Oh! Oh! I don't have to kill it, it just follows me out. Yay! Yay, I don't have to kill the raccoon! I feel like Reynold kind of want to eat it. Want to eat it? Uh, I feel like Reynold kind of wants to eat it, though. Just seems like a reekling thing. Well, then again, I don't know very much about the reeklings. They tend to eat boar meat. Come on, little guy. Kind of makes me wonder why there aren't any raccoons in Skyrim. That would have been the best animal to add in. Come on. There we go. Where is he? Where's the, ra Where's the raccoon? Come now. Come along. Oh, he's even smiling! To Wind Colors Retreat. Come on, buddy! This is adorable! Please, let me keep the raccoon. Maybe get it to follow me better. Will it... Er, uh, it doesn't want to leave. It won't leave the pass. Come on. Go up to the top here. Oh, I have to continue exploring. That would explain it. And yes, I know I'm leaving the little raccoon way back in the dust, but I want to get this done before next week. No, not this way. Heck, by the time I find the passage, it might catch up with me. Okay, this way. Yes, this way. Down here. Over here. Ah! Man, they, they are going to take a while to catch up with me. Oh! These are the... Ah!
Hmm. Watch the raccoon. What? The raccoon is apparently going to switch, going for a switch to open the gate. I speak raccoon now. It is pro or it is. Um. There's no other possibility. Where's... Okay, maybe if we wait a couple minutes, or wait a couple hours. There we go. Oh. Oh, to Skyrim, the other side of Windcaller Pass. Are we in... Uh, what country are we in? What language do they speak? <laughs> I don't speak Klingon! Rejoin the excavation team. Okay. Give me a sec. Oh, we're at Iverstead now. Ha. Ah. And we're back. Well, Had a, well. another crash. What have we here? We ha so... That was a terrible beast that had Latoria running. <laughs> what that? Latoria so humiliating. <laughs> for good for good reason, really. Well don't feel too bad, Latoria. That little critter had this one running just as fast for the hills. <laughs> anyway, it was shrieking like a devil it was. We all ran for it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I suppose that is true. It seems this little guy has taken quite a liking to you, Guildmaster. Yep. What do you say we give him a proper name? <gasps> what about Fafnir? Oh, I like it. Well, I say, that sounds like a pretty good name. I have Fafnir the raccoon. What's that name? Oops. Yes, that's quite fitting. Fafnir was a dragon known for his greed. <laughs> and our little friend here has certainly shown an affinity for shiny things. Yep. Great. Then it's settled. Fafnir it is. Well, I don't know about all of you, but I am ready to return to the guild with our spoils and start cataloging our finds. Not to mention get a little rest and relaxation before our next big outing. Yeah. I'm all for that. Great. Well, we'll get things packed up here, Guildmaster, if you want to meet up at the guild house. And thanks for all your help. Of course. Orion. I can't talk to him. Don't you dare, Kine. Don't you dare. That glow means Kine wants me to kill Fafnir. I don't care if you want my f or if you want me to c kill Fafnir for your favor. It ain't happening. Instead, we're going to go to Wait, can I talk to Fafnir? No. But we're going to go over here to Soul Slime. We're just going to take the Peasant's Passage instead of going back to the Dev of Asia. That's what I call the boat ride to the or to Soul Slime. The Peasant's Passage. They don't have an airship, they have a boat. <laughs> wow! I just, I just happened to realize that is really stuck up to call a boat, a peasant's passage, as compared to an airship. Okay, and the reason we're coming back here is because we're gonna go to Colbjorn Barrow one last time. Yep, uh, Relis has finally hit uh, rock bottom at uh, Colbjorn Barrow and the uh,
um, the courier said he will not return to Colbjorn Barrow to bring us more, or so we can bring more letters. Where? What the crap? I completely missed it. This is pointing me to talk to Neloth. For oh, Ill, old friends. Uh, Colbjorn. Oh come on, who's nearby? A wood elf. What? Who on earth are you? Conjurer's elixir. No clue. We're also getting some lag issues. Ah, uh, here we go. Who's up next? Who wants it? Oh! No more skittering around for you. Now let's save it before it crashes. Come over here. Ah. Uh, what? Lord Azadal demands more blood, and I give it willingly. The hired men have somewhat pitiful souls, so it sometimes takes several of them to achieve the desired effects. I won't be writing anymore. There is no need. The time has come to awaken the master and bring him to the fate he deserves. Also, I just realized the screen is messed up. There we go. Okay, so apparently... Uh, Relis has been literally just... Oh, come on, dude! But uh, apparently he's just been using the miners. Uh, I'd say we have somebody to kill now. Because this kind of tarnishes our reputation. I mean, sure, we're known for killing people in large droves, but we don't send people to their death. That is not something I do. And it's not something I will tolerate. Which is why Rallis will be getting the full force of my wrath. In fact, let's check my restoration magic. I don't quite have it yet, but... So that must be a master... Er, a master res, uh, restoration spell. But there is actually a resurrection spell. Which I will be using. Or better yet, I'll just resurrect Rallus and kill him again. Because I doubt if you go to the or if you die as a pile of ashes, I feel like that's sort of like your soul has been destroyed as well. Or at least that's how I'm going to look at it for Rallis. You don't screw over a queen with these. Uh, let's dig at the excavation site again. We can't. Unfortunately. Oh well. Now... We can finally get this, though. What word of power is this? Strike.
You're dead. Okay, so if we come over here, down here, up here. So that's where the Ring of Necromancy was. Where are you? Huh. I don't know why. Oh, wow. Nice one, Serana. So maybe we've got to go down to... Yep, bottom layer. Maybe? Set up again, because the... Um... The candlelight is blinding me. Hmm. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go here. Unless... No. I didn't think so. Then we go back down here. Was it... Is it this way? Yes. You... And you... And you. So if we pull that lever... Ah, we get this door. And this should tell us... Uh... Okay, so... Well, good. And that door. Oh, for some reason... I... Yeah, I guess it locked her out as soon as the, um... Or as... Both whales. Ah! Wait, what? Oh, I see. That opens up this. I don't know why... Oh, Armor of Retribution. For some reason, it doesn't have a texture. There we go. Now stop those. Hush. There we go. Now we drop down. Let's have a look at Azadol's armor of retribution. Oh. Enemies who strike you with a melee attack have a small chance of being paralyzed. Interesting. Ah, uh, this way. You know what? Uh, I don't have fire breath, apparently. Okay. Uh. You. Um. Okay, there's stall room over here, at least. We need a stall room. It's, there we go. Now, what do those need to be? Actually, let's get this out. And bye bye, Azadol. Ah, they're all dying because he's dead. 
That's one more mask. Oh God! What happened? What have I done? What's going on here? I don't remember. Ever since I got here to to Colville, I've heard whispers, voices, thoughts, imagined. Hmm. They've only gotten louder since I've stayed. Pounding, thriving. A couple of times I blacked out. It was it hmm. was just before the fall. Ah. Did you kill the miners? No. I maybe it's, it's what it's what he wanted. Hmm. He just needed their energy. I don't know. I hope I did. Oh, I believe you. Maybe I am. I'm still debating on killing you. You have to believe me. I can't, yeah, I can't let you go unpunished. No, you can't. I have his will on my side. He will command all of us. Uh. Give it your Sorry, Rallis, but I couldn't let you go for that. Horror Frost. Nice. Okay. And that is all of that. Of course, almost all. There's still this, and there's still the helmet back here. Where is the... Where are they all? Hmm. It's entirely possible. Yeah, it's possible that we just have to guess at this for a little while. Oh wow! I think all of those are crypts. So I'm looking for. Yeah, there aren't any displays of what to use. Of course... Yeah. So these are with Whale. There you are. I'm glad you're here with me. So... Whale is not correct on this one. Luckily this is simple enough. Eagle... Eagle and snake. Eagle whale. Then we go to snake and whale. There we go. Yeah. It was actually very easy. You just have to sort of trade them out. Really, boo? Gonna just jump off of my plate there. So now let's go back here, loot this chest. Nothing really super awesome in it. But what about this stuff? A few soul gems. And of course, this last room. Very important. The last black book. I don't think so. Honestly, I think it's kind of messed up. Let's read the black book. Filament and filigree. I hope this one is confusing. The rest of them have been kind of disappointing. Okay. Ooh. Three thieves. Interesting. Oh, Font of Magica. That's what that was. Now I'm going to try and make this one quick. But there's no guarantee. Activate the scry. And the pod. 
did see something at the end of that with trauma. Oh! That's two down. Three. Wait, nope, I missed. Three down. Let's loot this seeker here. Nerevar, Moon, and Star. So this is just sort of a go down the path and kill kill things test. Easy enough. <laughs> that one was entertaining. Oh, I saw a conjure seeker tome up here. Oh, that was easy. That was very easy. I like it. Well, I guess we're done. Well, uh, let's try and get this video up to 10 views. Share it and share it and subscribe with your friend. <laughs> share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Jeez, none of these help. I'll go with that. <laughs> Useless.